we heard from Rajesh earlier, it is about cost when it comes to green hydrogen, especially when you compare it to mm. grey. Uh, how do you bring the cost down? So I think uh, what Indian government is doing is uh, through green hydrogen purchase obligation, it's creating the demand uh, with the obligated entities like uh, oil and gas industry, city gas distribution, fertilizer, uh, consuming industry like steel, aluminium, and uh, several other hard to abate sector. Uh, so the key is uh, to kick start uh, the green hydrogen mission by creating the demand, get uh, developers, manufacturers uh, to create uh, that ecosystem where India becomes a credible uh, source of green molecule for the local industry as well as uh, for the global industry. And uh, what Indian government did uh, recently in the conference uh, which they conducted last week and uh, India's highest office, uh, the Prime Minister's office and uh, principal scientific advisor to PM himself was there uh, throughout the three days conference where they focused a lot on uh, innovation, technology partnership, how the major cost of uh, electrolyzer can be brought down. And in addition to that, what India has done, which is uh, phenomenal and very few countries uh, can offer that, India has a national grid. Uh, it has a single uh, grid across the nation. So mm, one sun, right. uh, one India, one grid. And it's allowing any projects which are coming up to 2030 to use that national grid. So you can be stationed in the best uh, wind generating area, best solar areas Vinit? and best pump hydro. Yes. Then it, what would make India a competitive supplier? After all, it is really looking at the export market. Hmm. So in my opinion, India is already a very competitive market and its uh, export uh, philosophy is deeply rooted in uh, strategic geographic location, abandoned natural resources and national's commitment to renewable energy. Leveraging these factors, India is scaling up uh, green hydrogen production aiming to manufacture 5 million tons by 2030 and international institutions uh, like EIB, ADB and uh, several other multilateral institutes including World Bank has agreed to support $27 billion of uh, multilateral financing over next five years to make sure that uh, the hydrogen mission is successful. So with our low cost renewable power uh, and uh, we need uh, ISTS connectivity, it will uh, be the first country to supply green molecules. So w what do you think would be, let, let's, let, let me just follow up on that because w w when you talk about, co I mean, you, you would be competing essentially with the likes of China, one part of the world, Germany and the other, and the distance really of India as an exporting hub to those key, key markets, th th that seems to be a cost hurdle that would need to be taken into consideration, let's put it that way. Uh, what, what do you think needs to be put in place, apart from capacity, for example, that ensures that anything that comes out of India, green hydrogen, is already competitive uh, at the onset? So actually, a very good question. I think, uh, let me take you to uh, Article 6 of Paris Agreement, where nations are encouraged to cooperate voluntarily for higher ambition of their mitigation and adoption action. So India currently is uh, uh, exploring partnership with Europe, uh, with uh, Japan, Korea and Singapore. And these four countries were uh, having bilateral meetings with Indian government in the last week's conference, where they have asked Indian government if they can uh, sign the uh, agreement similar to JCM of Japan, then they would be willing to partner with India and give them preferred access. So if you look at in Europe, the cost of one CBAM is equal to one ETS. So if uh, uh, mm. ETS values is assigned to these ITMOs, it will be equivalent to around uh, 1.6 billion euro uh, over 20 years period. And that creates a huge differentiator for uh, companies and the uh, uh, countries in the global south to trade with global north. So, Vineet, as it pertains to your group, 
what are your what, what are your priorities over the next 12 months then what does this allow you to do so actually our uh, priority is right now is uh, uh, we we have proven very successful in building large scale uh, uh green uh, projects we built world single largest 1248 megawatt of project mm. uh, at a single location using those expertise now we are uh, looking at successfully transitioning towards establishing large scale green hydrogen and its variant project uh, we recently took out our uh, epc tender and our target is uh, to award the epc tender in next 12 months right and start exporting molecules by 